ndio kwa mfano ndani ya matatu <laughs> yani mtu mzima na miaka zake hizo miaka zote mtu ajui kwa kujua kuandika noti NOT tu peke yake <laughs> nauliza ni bwana don't you dare insult me okay mama enjo Let the dead bury their dead, right? You're running around! Because of your jacket, Manuka, from there, Uko. Aya! What do you need to do? You need to do it. 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 Ready for a three weeks Africa football feast as the new year kicks off with the sixth edition of the African Nations Championship in Cameroon from the 16th of January to the 7th of February 2021. 16 teams from the continent will be spread across three cities as the best players from domestic leagues showcase their talents live on KBC Channel One. Let's support our own. The National Construction Authority will host the Construction Research Dissemination Forum from 18th to 22nd January 2021. The research topics to be discussed include building failures in Kenya, Juakali in construction, appropriate technologies for affordable housing, sustainable waste management practices in construction, research priorities in construction 2020 to 2025, and the construction industry outlook. The dissemination workshop shall be a duo audience event allowing for physical participation in line with Ministry of health guidelines and a virtual audience through NCA YouTube page, NCA social media pages, and KBC TV. For more information, call 0709-126-102, email research at nca.go.ke, or visit www.nca.go.ke and follow us on our social media platforms. The National Construction Authority, excellence in construction industry. Barabara kabisa mpenzi mtazamaji popote palo lipo shukran sana kwa kujiunga nasi na asante sana tena sana kwa kujiunga nasi kwenye taarifa zetu za darubini wikendi ikiwa ni Ijumaa ya tarehe 15 mwezi wa Januari mwaka ukiwa ni mpya ule wa mwaka wa 2021 ni fahari yangu kujiunga nawe kukuletea taarifa hizi mimi nafahamika kama Gladys Mungai na katika taarifa zetu hii leo mtazamaji tuna makala maalum yaliyoandaliwa na mwenzangu Caroline Kamau kuhusiana na mimba za mapema katika kaunti ya Nyeri kwa hivyo basi mtazamaji fanya hima utazame darubini ya channel 1 hadi mwisho upate makala hayo kwanza kabisa tuanze kwa kukupa vipasho I Al Kananu Mwenda do swear that I shall always truly and diligently serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Deputy Governor of Nairobi County and Kananu Mwenda hatimaye achukua hatamu za naibu governor wa county ya Nairobi Yoweri Museveni yuko kifua mbele kwenye matokeo ya muda ya uchaguzi ya urais nchini Uganda na changamoto za masomo na malezi kwa wasichana wa shule waliojifungua
Karibu tena mtazamaji anayenisaidia kukupa taarifa hizi kwa lugha ya ishara na famika kama Susan Thuku na tutaanza na taarifa ambayo nilikutaarifu hapo awali ya makala maalum ambapo serikali imeonya walimu wakuu wa shule hii ni dhidi ya kuongeza karu kwani hatua hiyo huenda ikatatiza wanafunzi na wazazi waziri wa elimu profesa George Magoha anasema kwamba kuongezwa kwa karu hakufai wakati huu kutokana na kwamba kuna matatizo ya kiuchumi yaliyosababishwa na janga la COVID-19 tazama taarifa yake Caroline Kamau Akiongea katika kaunti ya Embu wakati wa shughuli ya kutathmini hali ya masomo tangu kufunguliwa kwa shule, waziri wa elimu amewahimiza wazazi kulipa karo na kuwaonya wale wanaotaka kutumia kisingizio cha agizo la serikali la kuzitaka taasisi za elimu kutowafukuza wanafunzi wasiokuwa na karo. Akipuuzili mbali madai ya walimu wakuu wa shule eti shilingi bilioni 19.5 zilizotolewa hivi maajuzi kwa shule hazitoshi. This time the year 2021 is not the time to increase any school fees. I'm not going to name them but if they don't walk back some of them are in Nairobi why should you be happy to punish children and parents during corona? Sterling inhuman. May family plead with them to ensure that all those extra costs they are asking the parents to pay perhaps they should not ask for now Magoha alisema 95% ya shule za msingi kote nchini zimefunguliwa sawia na 96% ya shule za upili zilizofunguliwa na kuongeza kuwa shule ambazo hazijafunguliwa ziko katika maeneo ambako wanafunzi wanahitaji chakula We are spending the sum of Kenya shilling 1.8 billion in assisting these low cost housing uh, low cost schools and also ensuring that children who require food during uh, school time receive them Katibu katika Wizara ya Elimu Belio Kipsang pia amewaonya walimu wakuu wa shule dhidi ya kuwafukuza wanafunzi wasiokuwa na pesa za ununuzi wa madawati na chakula cha mchana So and we have told our schools that lunch is not compulsory So this is an arrangement that they can make but they should not send our children home for a cost that is not indicated in the cassetted fee guidelines because this is an arrangement between the school and the parents and if it is an arrangement that arrangement should not be seen to be compulsory Katika kaunti ya Mombasa katibu katika wizara ya kilimo Profesa Hamadi Boga alifurahia idadi kubwa ya wanafunzi walioripoti katika shule za umma katika eneo hilo akisema machifu wanafanya kazi kama mchwa watafuta wanafunzi ambao hawajarejea shuleni So I think we still have to work together the government is supporting through the infrastructure funds the government is supporting through the repair and maintenance funds where every student is getting 5000 And so we want the parents to continue working with their head teachers and the resources that we are bringing down planning for them properly through the PA to make sure that they are deployed to make sure that the learning environment is safe Beatriz Getonyenge teach Darubini your channel 1 Tusamaje tukiachana na taarifa hiyo ya Beatriz na kugeukia siasa katika kaunti ya Nairobi ni kwamba An Kananu Mwenda ameapishwa kuwa naibu gavana wa kaunti ya Nairobi na kuahidi kushirikiana kikazi na halmashauri ya utoaji huduma jijini Nairobi NMS hizini katika juhudi za kuimarisha huduma kwa wakazi wa Nairobi Kananu waliapishwa muda mfupi tu baada ya kusailiwa na kuidhinishwa na bunge la kaunti ya Nairobi uh, tazama taarifa hiyo mtazamaji I An Kananu Mwenda Haya ndio maneno yaliyowashiria mwanzo wa safari yake kama naibu gavana mwanamke wa kwanza wa kaunti ya Nairobi. Sherehe hiyo iliandaliwa katika jumba la mikutano la KICC muda mfupi kabla ya saa ya lasiri. Miongoni mwa watu mashuhuri waliokuepo ni mkurugenzi wa huduma za jiji la Nairobi, General Mohamed Badi. Katika hotuba yake ya kukubali uteuzi wake, Kananu aliahidi kushirikiana kikazi na huduma za jiji la Nairobi ili kuimarisha huduma za wakazi wa Nairobi. I equally affirm and commit in the same vein to work and cooperate closely with the Director General 
of the Nairobi Metropolitan Services, Major General, Major General Badi and his team to ensure the transferred functions are further strengthened and supported to ensure meeting the aspiration of the people of Nairobi. Kanano wali apisho masema wili peke baada ya bunge la county ya Nairobi kuidhinisha ripoti ya kamati ya wanachama kumi iliyomsaili Kanano. First one to the Supreme Court opinion advice of reference number 1 of 2015 paragraph 32D of the County Government Act 2020 and section 9 of the Public Appointment Act 2017 the committee recommends that this assembly approve the nomination of Ms. Anne Kanano Mwenda for the appointment to the position of the Deputy Governor Nairobi. Wakijadilia ripoti hii wa bunge wa county ya Nairobi walipongeza tajriba yake wakati kumsahili alikabiliwa na wakati mgumu kueleza jinsi atakavyokabiliana na makundi ambayo awali yamekuwa kitatiza usimamizi wa jiji msongamano wa magari jijini idadi kubwa ya wafanyakazi na kuchelewa kwa hazina kuu kutoa pesa um, Nairobians have underlined uh, two major challenges and that is traffic congestion and garbage collection uh, that needs to have a solution how will you be assisting the governor to address these two challenges i believe there's a bill that was passed on a transport or an act that was passed on a transport and i believe uh, the first thing i would do because traffic congestion in the city is a major challenge so i would uh, first public vehicles should move away from the cbd madam uh Let's say this committee appoints you or you get appointment from this committee. Uh, may, how are you going to handle uh, the friends whom were your colleagues, uh, family? Uh, the recruitment that you did for our firemen and our constables, you'll find people coming to ask for favors. But you should not I, I cannot subject myself into that. Lakini huku akiapisha ofisini chama cha Dadu Alliance kimetaja kuapisha kwake haraka ofisini kuwa kinyume cha katiba. Wataalamu wa masuala ya kisheria wanasema kuapisha kwa kanano kunamaliza kipindi cha kuhudumu kwa speaker wa bunge la county ya Nairobi kama kaimu governor. We should expect uh, um, uh, honorable uh, Mutula uh, to formally relinquish um, uh, the position of acting speaker and transfer the instruments of power to the deputy governor who in any event uh, will be uh, now uh, substantively being sworn in as governor and it will now be upon her uh, to give a nomination of uh, her intended deputy governor. What has happened today is what should happen. We need to put the people first. So I hope uh, the new deputy uh, governor of Nairobi who will soon be the governor of, of Nairobi will be able to work with the, the NMS uh, leader to ensure that the people get the essential services they need. So today as the chairman I'm very happy, excited, just waiting to see of what the first Nairobi woman governor will be able to, to, to do for the people of the city. Niki Ripotia Darubini Rikendi, Naito Gladys Mungai. Tukisalia popo hapo mtazamaji ni kwamba safari ya An Kananu ilikuwa naibu gavana wa kaunti ya Nairobi ilikumbwa na malumbano ya kisheria huku maombi ya kiwasilisho mahakamani ilikumzia kuapishwa rasmi kuwa wadhfu, na kuchukua wadhifa huo ombi la kutaka kusimamishwa kwa usaili wake lilitupilwa mbali na mahakama hii leo asubuhi muda si mfupi tu baada ya shughuli ya kumsaili kuanza sarafu na robi anaangazia vizingiti vya kisheria alivyokumbana navyo kananu na ambavyo anakumbana navyo baada ya kuapishwa kama naibu gavana wa kaunti ya Nairobi Ombi la mwanaharakati Okio Mtata, Habil Omar Kongo na alikuwa gavana wa kaunti ya Nairobi, Mike Sonko la kutaka kuzuia kusahiliwa kwa Ann Kanano kuwa naibu wa gavana wa kaunti ya Nairobi, lilitupiliwa mbali na mahakama mapema leo asubuhi. Justice Anthony Murima akiruhusu kusahiliwa kwake, alisema maslahi ya umma ni ya umuhimu mkubwa na akawaagiza kuwasilisha ombi lingine lilifanyiwe marekebisho.
Katika kujaribu kuzuia kusahiliwa kwake, walalamishu alisema gavana alikuwa amebatilisha uteuzi wake na katiba inasema kwamba endapo ofisi ya gavana itasalia wazi, uchaguzi mdogo unapaswa kufanywa. Jaribio la walalamishi la kutaka agizo hilo lisimamishwe kwa siku tano ili kwa pamuda wa kuwasilisha rufani pia lilikataliwa. Uamuzi huo wa jaji Murima ulimfanya mlalamishi Henry na Miti awasilisha mlalamishi kwa tume ya watumishi wa idara mahakama. Na Miti anamshtumu jaji huyo kwa mapendeleo kazini na anaitaka tume hiyo imondoe ofisini. Mlalamishi huyo anasema mahakama inaagizwa la kufanya na serikali kuu. Sasa linalosubiriwa ni kuwa na mkono huu utelekea wapi ukuswa la hilo likisalia katika tume ya watumishi wa idara ya mahakama. Nikiripoti ya Darubini jina langu ni Sarafina Robi. Iwapo ndio mwanzo unajiunga nasi mtazamaji unatazama taarifa za Darubini wikendi. Tukisonga mbele naibu wa rais William Ruto amesisitiza kwamba harakati inoendelea ya mageuzi ya katiba imekwamisha ajenda nne za serikali za maendeleo. Ruto amesema badala yake serikali inapaswa kuweka bidii na kuwapa uwezo wasiojiweza katika jamii. Kwengineko katika kaunti ya Machakos Gavana Alfred Mutua ameshtumu kiongozi wa chama cha Wipa Kalonzo Musyoka kwa kile ambacho amesema ni kutumia watu wa kaunti ya Machakos kumdhalilisha aliyekuwa seneta wa kaunti ya Johnston Mudhama. Naibu Rais William Ruto alikuwa katika kaunti ya Bomet na hapa kwa mara nyingine akawasuta wakereketo wa BBI akisema utaratibu wa kubadilisha katiba unaoendelea haufai kwa sasa na unakwamisha ajenda ya maendeleo ya serikali. Wakenya wanajua ya kwamba priority sio mambo ya kuunganisha makabila. Priority saa hizi ni kushughulikia biashara ya kila mkenya. Awe ni mama mboga Hawe ni ule wa kiosk, awe ni wakinyosi ama makanga, awe ni wa boda boda. That is the priority we have to make sure that every hustle counts. Ruto pia lipuzi liambali wito wa kuzungusha kiti cha urais miongoni mwa makabila. Akisema viongozi wanapaswa kuchaguliwa kuambatana na maono yao kwa ustawi wa taifa. Wanatuambia tuchague viongozi kupitia kwa lotari ama karata ya kamari sijui kabila hii siku gani sijui kabila hiyo siku ingine sijui kabila ile siku ingine mimi nauliza nyinyi watu wa Bomet mnataka tuchague viongozi kulingana na ile mpango ya maendeleo wako nayo ama mnataka tuchague viongozi kupitia kwa kamari ya ukabila wakati huo huo gavana wa kaunti ya Machako Alfred Mutua amemkosoa kiongozi wa chama cha Waipa Kalonzo Musyoka kufuatia uteuzi wa mgombea wa chama hicho wa kiti cha useneta cha Machakos ameenda akamchukua mke wa seneta Mudhama ndio amfanye seneta Mudhama asikie kiburi asikie vibaya kwa hivyo imekuwa sio jambo la kuletea watu wa machako za ama ukambani kiongozi imekuwa ni vita yake ya kibinafsi kwenda kuingilia nyumba ya mwenzake ndio mwenzake asikie vibaya chama cha mutua cha maendeleo chapchap kimemteua aliyekuwa waziri wa maji mutua kutuku kuania kiti hicho kwingineko kutakaswa kwa waziri wa usalama fred matiangi kama msemaji wa jamii ya abagusi kunaendelea kuzua maoni mseto Kundi hilo limewataka wazee wa jamii hiyo kufanya mashauri zaidi kabla ya kutangaza maamuzi. As MCS we throw, we throw our weight behind the coronation so that Dr. Matiangi who is also the chair of the National uh, Development Implementation and the Commun Communication Committee to be the elder and the spokesperson of the community. Wasili ambaye tunampenda kama tunadharachia kwe kiongozi wetu ama our spokesman lazima ansie wale viongozi sasa ambao wako mamlakani ambao nasema watu 130 na hatimaye baraza la vikundi vya kidini nchini limeonya kuwa joto la kisiasa nchini linakwamisha utoaji huduma kwa wananchi kwenye taarifa kwa vyombo vya habari baraza hilo limewataka viongozi wa kisiasa kutopeleka siasa kwenye maeneo ya kuabudu huku kitafuta maelewano kuhusu vipenge tata katika ripoti ya BBI. Nikiripoti ya Darubini ya Channel 1 naitwa Safin Aching Oma. Tazamaji zime katika robo sana taarifa hiyo ya mwenzangu Safin inatamatisha awamu ya kwanza ya taarifa za Darubini wikendi tukirejea ni mengi zaidi. Usiondoke.
Enda pale kwa palume. Wakaja. Kari ndio hii. No sorry, kifungu. Ndio hii kari. Ni furaha ile niko nayo. Muzichali kete. Eh. Wacha tupeane mali ya wenyewe. Ni vizuri tupe watu vitu zao. Uchukue mali yako. Enda uchukue mali yako. Probox Sasa hii Probox inakusaidia aje? itakuwa na nisaidia kazi yangu ya kuuza matunda. Eh. Unaambia je watu wako nyumbani ambao no, watakuona na hii? Wa, wote wacheze na quick beat. Mm -hmm. eh, Wata, ya ukweli. Ni ya ukweli. Eh, kabisa. Sasa eh. tufanyie vizuri. Eh. Ingia upate mizigo yako bana. Ingia, ingia. Ingia utoshe, ukae usikie. Inakutosha sawa. Eh eh sisi tulikwambia ni aje bidhaa bora kwenye bei ya chini bidhaa bora kwenye bei ya chini Jiunga na Quick Bid ni rahisi enda kwenye Mpesa bonyeza Paybill kisha weka business number 4032353 kwenye account weka kodi bidhaa unayotaka na bidi yako ya chini zaidi kwa mfano TV16 kisha weka shilingi 20 tu kama idadi yako weka bidi yako pia kwenye www.quickbid.co.ke kumbuka bidi ya chini zaidi ya kipekee ndio ununua Quick Bid bidhaa bora kwa bei ya chini Kunchukulia kwa mfano ndani ya matatu. <laughs> yaani mtu mzima na miaka zake hizo miaka zote. Mtu ajii kwa kujua kuandika noti. E noti tu peke yake. <laughs> Nauliza ni bwana Karibu tena mtazamaji na ili kukuarifu kuhusiana na maambukizi ya COVID-19 idadi ya waliombukizwa virusi vya corona humu nchini imekaribia laki moja baada ya watu 166 zaidi kuambukizwa ugonjwa huo humu nchini huku kiwango cha maambukizi kikisalia chini ya asilimia kumi kwa wiki tatu mfululizo hata hivyo idadi waliowaga dunia imefikia watu 1726 baada ya wagonjwa watatu zaidi kupoteza maisha yao katika masaa ishirini na manne yaliyopita Kenya inaendelea kushuhudia idadi ya kupungua ya maambukizi ya COVID-19 kiwango cha maambukizi cha chini ya asilimia tano kikidumishwa kwa wiki kadhaa takwimu za hivi punde zikionyesha kiwango cha maambukizi cha asilimia tatu nukta tatu visa vipya 166 vya maambukizi vikiendakiliwa nchini kutokana na sampuli 1777 zilizopimwa kufikia sasa ni watu 1098859 walioambukizwa ugonjwa wa COVID-19 nchini Nairobi kiongoza kwa visa vipya ambako watu 115 wa maambukizo wa virusi hivyo ikifuatwa na Kiambu kwa visa kumi, Kajado saba, Mombasa sita, na Kuru vine, huku busia na machako zikinakili visa vitatu kila moja. Wagonjwa sitini wawili wamepona ugonjwa huo na kufikisha 1882195 waliopona. Wakati huo huo idadi ya waliwaga dunia imeongezeka baada ya wagonjwa watatu zaidi kufariki na kufikisha 1726 idadi kamili ya vifo vya COVID-19 nchini. Wagonjwa 683 wamelazwa katika hospitali tofauti, 29 kati yao wakilazwa katika chumba cha wagonjwa mahututi. Na sio kwari, 
darubini ya channel 1 Katika makala yetu maalum ni kwamba serikali iliagiza wanafunzi wote wakiwemo wale walio na wajawazito na waliojifungua kurejelea masomo. Hata hivyo utekelezaji wa agizo hilo ni kizungumkuti. Hii ni kutokana na wasiwasi kuhusu malezi ya watoto walio wachanga na ambao pia ni kina mama wakiwa katika shuleni. Na je kuna sehemu ya kuwahudumia kina mama hao chipukizi katika juhudi za kutanzua kitendawili hiki? Reporter wetu Caroline Kamau alizuru shule ya upili ya wasichana ya Seren Haven iliyoko katika kaunti ya Nyeri ambayo inatoa fursa ya elimu kwa wasichana waliojiunga waliokumbana na changamoto hizo na pia ni wazazi na wanambao wanatarajiwa kupitia masomo na kuyakamilisha mtazamaji inaarifiwa kwamba taarifa hiyo utaipata kwa kina mwendo wa saa tatu. anaarifiwa kwamba tayari iko kamili itazame Nikilio cha watoto ambacho kitakufanya udhani hii ni shule ya cheketea. Hata hivyo ni shule ya upili inayotoa mafunzo kwa wasichana wa shule waliojifungua. We saw a bigger gap uh, in education especially with the, the number of teenage mothers that are, uh, are presently that are caused by the covid uh, uh, lockdowns. So we saw that uh, if there, there is no intervention in the education so many will uh, fail to go back to school because as much as the mother would want the daughter to continue or the parents would want to continue with the uh, with education uh, there there is uh, simply nobody to take care of the baby because most mothers and fathers are struggling financially uh, they won't be able to employ a household full time hapa ndipo wasichana hao wamepata mahali pa kujiliwaza sara ambaye jina lake halisi limebanwa alipata mimba akiwa kwenye kidato cha tatu Saka tinda form 1, ndo mkashika boy, mkwa form 1, akiwa form 3. Kuma ambia nikona mimba, kasi mwaji mimba si yake, mtafute mba mtota. Mama aki akamfukuza nyumbani. Kwa ambia mba 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 Nikenda kwa bestie yangu mwingine. Bestie yangu kaniambiaje? Kutoa mimba ni rahisi. Kunywa majani. Akanipatia nikakunywa, nikakunywa huko nilikuwa najaribu kutoa mimba. Akanipatia madawa zingine zikakata kutoka. Karibu mtazamaji na katika safi ya biashara ni kwamba wakulima wa miwa wametoa wito kwa serikali iwe ikiwashauriana nao na wenye viwanda vya sukari kabla ya kuruhusu sukari isiyotoza ushuru kuagizwa na kurejeshwa katika nchi hii kutoka mataifa ya mat, mashirika mataifa ambao ni shirika la Comesa wakiongozwa na katibu mkuu wa chama cha wakuza miwa humu nchini ambaye anafahamika kama Richard Ogendo wakulima hao wanadai kwamba kuna mpango wa kuagiza tani 1057 za sukari kutoka mataifa ya kigeni na wanachama wa kumesa ifikapo mwishoni mwa mwezi ujao. Mwaka uliopita serikali ilisimamisha uagizaji wa sukari kama hatua ya kulinda sekta ya sukari isiporomoke kwa sababu uagizaji wa sukari nyingi ya bei ya chini ulivifanya viwanda vya sukari vya humu nchini kukosa soko la sukari yao. Hata hivyo habari kuhusu mpango mwingine wa kuagiza sukari kutoka mataifa wanachama wa Comesa ili kuziba na kisi ya sukari iliyopo kwa sasa haujawafurahisha wadau wa sekta hiyo. Uchunguzi wao unaonyesha kwamba sukari iliyoagizwa kati ya tarehe mosi mwezi Machi mwaka uliopita na tarehe mosi mwezi Oktoba ulikuwa tani 1192527 kinyume na tani 1250 za sukari. There is a quota given for Comesa sugar. It was 270,000 metric tons. All of it came in last year. Anybody who brings sugar over and above the quota must pay 100% duty. Nobody has authority to exempt any player in imports. 
Wakati huo huo licha ya ongezeko la matumizi ya teknolojia digitali katika mawasiliano kwa sababu ya masharti ya kuzuia msambao wa COVID-19 kutoruhusiwa mawasiliano ya ana kwa ana kati ya wafanyabiashara na wateja wao kulichangia kupungua kwa biashara zao. Mtaalamu wa mawasiliano Pita Mutie anasema ili kufaulu kampuni sharti ziwekeze katika teknolojia ya mawasiliano ili kuboresha biashara zao na imani ya wateja. Uh, lots of communication is done through body language and that you can only do physically um, but in the absence of that and, and because we are facing this crisis health first uh, life first so we, we, we continue doing hybrid where we can uh, where we cannot we still do online hatimai ungezeko la kwekwe inayofanana na gugu maji katika ziwa victoria kuna tishia shughuli za uvuvi Wavuvi wanasema kwekwe kwe hiyo inatatiza shughuli za uvuvi katika ziwa hilo hivyo basi kwa lazimu kuacha mashua zao na shughuli za uvuvi ambazo ni tegemeo la maisha yao. Wavuvi sasa wanaitaka serikali iingilie kati na kutafuta mbinu za kuiondoa kwekwe kwe hiyo. Tangu hii kitu ikuje hapa kuna boti yenye imejaribu kuenda ziwani tena kutega. Michezoni kocha wa Tasca FC Roberto Matano amesema kwamba kikosi chake kiko tayari kuendeleza msururu wa matokeo bora watakapochuana na Kariobangi Sharks ni kesho kwenye mchuano wa ligi kuu uwanjani Kasarani mechi saba za ligi kuu zimeratibiwa kuchezwa wikendi hii baada ya kuanza vibaya msimu kikosi hicho chenye makao yake Ruaraka kimeimarisha mchezo wake na kwa sasa kinashikilia nafasi ya tatu kwenye msururu wa ligi kuu huko nchini. Mabingwa hao mara 11 wa ligi kuu wamejinyakulia la 13 kutoka na mechi tano na wanatarajiwa kukabiliwa na ukinzani mkali dhidi ya Sharks. The whole, the whole team the most but but that one cannot say because we won cannot need any winner anymore. We still need more and that one also it's motivation to work more uh, nearly uh, we, we, we work extra hard to maintain the standard we have already set sisi nimekuwa fit eh challenges here and there but na believe imekuwa fit kabisa tulianza vibaya tuli lose then tukakuja tuka draw tumeshinda tuka draw tumeshinda so na believe team iko poor tuna wakaza team na tunaendelea fit kwa hii season kila mtu ako focus technical bench wachezaji tuna aim tuna aim to something like this season kila mtu ameamua trophy tunabeba ligi ni yetu eh juu wachezaji kila mtu ako set up kila mtu ako focus kila game tuna and with a lot of discipline cautious na that's what tunashinda consistency timu hizo zimechuana mara saba kwenye ligi kuu huku task fc ikishinda mara tatu kutoka sare mara mbili na kushinda mara mbili Karanja David Darubini michezo. Kwenye kwa mtazamaji mabondia wa kikosi cha timu ya taifa almaarufu kama Hate Squad Boniface Mugunde na Elizabeth Kinyi wamesitiza kwamba wako imara kabla ya michuano ya kufuzu kwa michezo ya Olimpiki itakayoendelewa mwezi Juni nchini Ufaransa. Timu hiyo ya taifa imeimarisha mazoezi yake jijini Nairobi kabla ya michano hiyo ya kufuzu. Mabondi ya hao wawili walikuwa miongoni mwa bondi ya 19 walio shiriki kwenye mashindano ya kufuzu barani Afrika nchini Senegali mwaka uliopita. Ni mabondi ya wawili pekee ni Kokoth na Kristen Ongare walioji kati ya tiketi za kushiriki kwenye michezo olimpiki. Bonfes Mugunde amesema kutolewa kwa makocha wengine kumwasaidia pakubwa kuimarisha mchezo wao. Kuna confident eh. Sasa hata tunasikia hata hata, hata, hata ikiwa kesho. Eh, yani tuko ready kwa sababu at least tuna, tunasikia hii kila kitu nyenye tunafanywa na makochari hizi dizo hizo zote tunafanya yani tunasikia zinaingia Elizabeth Akinyi amesisitiza yuko tayari kwa tiketi ya Olimpiki wakati wa mechi hizo za kufuzu According to the training tumefanyishwa nina imani tuta tutapata ma tickets ukiweka kwa mental at Asia CD hizo bla bla countries zinacheza kwa liko hiyo utashindwa automatically ushashindwa 
lakini ukijiamini i can unaweza with god naweza kusema kwamba Mtazamaji kufikia hapo sina buri la kulikunja jamvi la taarifa za darubini wikendi na kwenye mitandao ya kijamii bila shaka naona wajumbe zenu zipo mnawasema mnatazama kabisa kabisa Victor Muturi kusoma tu kwa kifupi anasema tazama kutoka Embu Martin Muhande kutoka Kakamega presenter present from Timao anasema anaitwa Double Longa uh, mwingine anasema anatazama kutoka Kisumu Willy anasema Mount Elgon na Benjamin Muridhi anasema uh, siasa tamu ya Kenya no pain no gain. Kufikia hapo mtazamaji sina budi naambiwa nifunganye virago wakati wangu umekwisha. Naitwa Gladys Mungai nasema asante sana kwa kutazama na kuacha na mwenzangu Tilio Mako akufahamishe kulikoni katika utabiri wa hali ya hewa. Alamsiki. Mtaza maji imeongezeka pakubwa hasa nyakati za asubuhi ikilinganishwa na jinsi ilivyokuwa jana na juzi. Shukran sana kwa kujiunga nami kwenye utabiri wa hali ya hewa. Jina langu ni Tilio Marco. Maeneo ya magharibi nyanza na baadhi ya sehemu za Rift Valley kuna tarajiwa kuna rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi leo usiku. Maeneo ya Nairobi, maeneo ya Kati, Machakos na Kajiado kuna tarajiwa kuna rasharasha za mvua leo usiku na itakapotimu kesho asubuhi ni kwamba maeneo ya Kisi, Kisumu na Narok na viunga vyake kuna tarajiwa kuna mvua itakayopisha vipindi vya jua hali sawia na inatarajiwa katika maeneo ya Nairobi na maeneo ya Machakos maeneo ya kaskazini mashariki na maeneo ya ziwa Turkana kutakuwa na vipindi vya jua sawia na mwambao wa pwani itakapotimu majira ya lasiri ni kwamba maeneo ya Kisi, Kisumu na Kuru, Eldoret, Kitale na viunga vyake kuna tarajiwa kuna rasharasha za mvua na ngurumo za radi maeneo ya Makindu, Kitui na Voi kuna tarajiwa kuna rasharasha za mvua katika sehemu chache na kupisha vipindi vya jua mwamba wa pwani kutendelea kuwa na vipindi vya jua sawia na maeneo ya ziwa Turkana kaskazini mashariki maeneo ya Mandera Garissa Wajia na Isiolo kuna tarajiwa kuwa na hali ya jua kali tukiangazia viwango vya joto ni kwamba joto litafikia nyuzi 37 katika maeneo ya Lodwa kaunti ya Kisumu tuna kili kati ya nyuzi 26 na 17 kaunti ya Nairobi tuna kili kati ya nyuzi 25 na 14 na mtazamaji nimehitimisha utabiri wa hali ya hewa kwa sasa hadi kesho inshallah na kuacha na utabiri wa hali ya hewa katika maeneo mengine duniani uwe na usiku mtulivu Fashion College with branches in Nairobi, Eldoret, Thika and Meru. Did you know that we are a Tibet approved institution? We offer courses in fashion design, interior design in soft furnishing, event decoration, flower arrangement, event planning, hairdressing, barbering and dreadlocks, beauty therapy, makeup, nail technology, spa massages, teaching skills, TOT, solo business management and many more. Register now and visit our website on www.verabeautycollege.com. You can also call on 0725-923-550 Nairobi Branch, 0728-087-689 Eldoret Branch, 0722-227428 Thika Branch, 0725-000. 706 Meru Branch Vera Beauty and Fashion College a Tivet approved institution